first meeting with Coach Mass, uh, he was usually yelling at us uh, right from the get-go, even uh, even from recruiting. So uh, he's a tough guy, a great coach. But we, we all think, you know, looking back, uh, you know, very fair, very fair. You always knew with Coach Mass that, you know, the back, he was always had your best interests in mind. He was tough. I remember him telling the first time, I think I had like 20 and 10 in game, and we're in there watching film the next game. He said, Mitch, who the hell recruited this guy? <laughs> He is, he sucks. Right? He's like the worst recruit we ever got. And poor Mitch is in the corner. He's looking at me like, geez, John, you're killing me, right? I didn't do anything, Mitch. I got 20 and 10 for you, but. I got to meet Coach, I guess, at a younger age and all these guys, because I was, I guess, 14 when John was playing. I remember uh, the first game I came to was uh, Mike and John's freshman year. They lost to Duquesne in the palestra. A guy named Fred Moon had like 30 points. I remember still, I remember it like yesterday. And uh, myself and Bobby Dominic and my dad, we went back to Coach's house after the game. And I'm 14 years old, so you got to figure out how this is all going down. And they're having a beverage and talking about who stinks and how bad they played. And they were 5-0 and or 6-0 and of them. It was their first loss of the year. And I was just, I've gone to the palestra. I was so excited about them. Boy, this, this college basketball not all it's cracked up to me because I, I heard what was going to happen to these guys tomorrow morning. I was like, I don't want any part of this stuff. The thing that really got me with Coach Mass was uh, he told me, you probably can't play at Villanova. And he looked me right in the face and said, I, you know, I don't think you're good enough to play there. And at the time, um, I was, you know, supposedly going to pit. Um, but that challenge right there in itself uh, was, was enough. And then when I came on my visit, um, got getting a chance to hang out with uh, some of these guys, um, I just knew this was the right place for me. And uh, Coach was a great, great leader uh, for all of us. When he came to my house, for the first meeting. And he says, here's what I'm gonna promise you. I promise you that this is not a four-year relationship. I'm gonna be with you for the next 40 years or the, until I die. And uh, he kept that promise. I knew that I had to go to Villanova because I knew that I'd never want to play against John Pannone again <laughs> after what he did to me in high school. He had he had 48 on me. He said it was more than that. I, I heard it. I got pulled sure. out. I got pulled out in the fourth quarter in the first minute. That's he said, why he, I was he, said he had another number to it. I don't know. <laughs> well, I only played five minutes that game. <laughs> yeah, well, Preston had a good game when he had 22. Preston had a good game. Like, yeah. He had 20. He got outscored by 28. But yeah, you know, it was all right. I think when when Harold's getting recruited. Coach Matt said, you just stay away, Pannon. <laughs> yeah. You're away. Don't even talk to him this week. He still remembers. We want him to come. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. We practiced. It was, uh, Mike and I will tell you, the first practice was like a living hell. I couldn't even, <laughs> Mike, and we, I couldn't walk down the stairs. This is after a total, you know, pre-season pre condition with Coach Mass. We're going five days a week. I was holding on to the railing for dear life because my legs were shaking like a leaf. I couldn't even go down the stairs. So, like, it was the worst thing ever. And we came off, I think it was, what, 15 and 16 or... 16 and 15 a year before, he was not going 16 and 15 again, right? Yeah, you'd have to turn the cameras off to Whoa. hear that conversation. That was, that was not pleasant. That was yeah. not, oh. and, it, and we just got there, my guy yeah, and we Stu. Didn't, we didn't go 15 and 16. What are you talking about? No, we didn't even play a game last year. It's our fault. Okay, go ahead. Guess we're not getting recruited anymore, right? Jeez. People say, well, how would your brother play in today's Big East? And, I, and John says, I would have scored 3,000 points because <laughs> right, nobody would have been in the paint to guard. You watch those old 80 games, there, there's 10 guys in the paint. And somehow he found a way to get 2,000 points with, like, with six guys on him. So, so if you're a player, you're a player. You'll figure it out. You'll, you know, if I can do this better, I got to do this better, I would work on this. You know, I did these things because that's the way the game was. These guys now have to do this to get better. And you can see the development here all the time over years. Yeah, he's a decent shooter, becomes a great shooter at the end of the four years because that's what they do. And I do think it's exciting to see, you know, you always talk about different eras. We've run through it with the, you know, the new guys. You know, our 85 team and the 16 team won. Which team was better? Well, it's, it's two different eras, but, you know, there's no three-point shot. There's no shot clock. And then even the 16 and 18 guys do it, and they're two years apart. So uh, We've had a lot of good athletes and a lot of good teams here when you when you look back on it for, for now, like, you know, 40 years or something. It's crazy, you know, how good we've been. These guys were the reason that that happened, and there's no question about it. This man right here, uh, my freshman year, he grabbed me and he, he 
he really we're pulled me. We're on tape here. We're on tape. <laughs> he, <all right. laughs> he pulled me. He said, we do, we're Villanova. We do not lose the first game in, a, in the NCAA tournament. And that stuck with me all the way through. So uh, I'm going to thank you first. Uh, I, I did crap my pants also. <laughs> but that was a big thing that I wanted to pass on as you guys left and Doug came in and I remember saying the same thing to Doug. We always win the first game so let's uh, let's get going here and, and we had a heck of a year even after the championship year um, because a, a guy like Doug West comes in and, and instantly he's, he's on the starting lineup but he bought in. He bought in. He heard what the generations before us told us. He took it, he understood it, he believed it, and he went with it. And that was the, the reason that we were able to, to move forward. You always got to remember that the older guys led the way. And uh, I think Jay had on everybody's shirts a year ago, two years ago. We play for the guys bef that came before us. Perfect, perfect thing to have on your jerseys. I think it's just a special place. I've been blessed to be able to work here my whole adult life. And uh, these guys could walk in the cafeteria at Doherty Hall tomorrow and see people that served them food back in the 80s. That's the kind of place it is. Or walk in the business school and see teachers that taught them in the 80s. I think that's what makes this place so unique and so special. I'm just shocked that you said you finally grew up. <laughs> <laughs> I said most of my adult life. <laughs> It doesn't matter where you go in the country, there are Villanova people and they're just, I mean, they're just head over heels about Villanova basketball, about Villanova in general. So when you talk about Villanova to anyone, you just, people just beam, they light up and they want to hear more because they know, they feel the passion, they feel the love that we have for each other at Villanova. We've had a lot of you know, sweet 16s and final eights, and we build on it, final fours, and now championships. I mean, we just keep knocking on the door. You know, everybody everybody works together, but it's not it's not like just it's, e it's easy because it's Villanova. We just, everybody says it too. So they say, you guys do it the right way, and we do it the right way. I think another part of that whole thing was, and you don't think about it until you see some of these bigger schools now where they have their athletic dorms and everyone's away from it. We were with the student body all the time. Um, and the student body wanted to be part of us and we were part of them and uh, it was always uh, exciting times. You were definitely with the student body. <laughs> <laughs> For more, visit Villanova Basketball online, on social media, and on the Villanova Athletics app.